Bad Batch Season 3, Episode 2, titled Paths Unknown, sees Wrecker and Hunter for the first time in Season 3 as they search for Omega, and the music continued to hold back for now while beginning to give us peaks of their theme again. It was also impressively representative of the antagonist in this episode. This is Star Wars Music Analysis. The episode immediately begins stronger musically than all of episode 1 as we hear a French horn screaming a brief solo. It sets us up to follow the story arc of somewhere and someone else immediately. It opens on a place clearly built to show this same strength and power. After that, low ominous strings enter along with tremolos that add tension to the scene. As Hunter and Wrecker approach the planet, large tribal drums play, reflecting the jungle-like nature of this planet. As they land and exit their ship, strings enter and glissando in half-steps. This uncertain and wavering motion in the strings adds an instant eeriness to the scene and tells us to be on guard for something lingering. Further eerie noises continue the fear as they're ambushed by two young clones. Drop your weapons. <laughs> and even as it ends, their warning and the music that follows it carries a lingering warning. And don't touch the vines. As the slither vines attack, the music finally picks up with quick stepwise flails in the strings. It quickly goes away as the vines retreat. This silence carries into the campfire talk with the group of young clones. It's quite a place you got here. As Wrecker and Hunter venture towards the ruins with Deke, music enters again. It's filled with very brief motifs from the Bad Batch theme, something we have not actually heard yet. But it fits to reflect the loyalty that this group shows one another. The theme never truly enters as it's completely fragmented and broken apart, just like this group now is as well. I can get you inside the ruins. How has she been gone? Too long, but we're not giving up. I wish the other clones felt that way about us. Your ship has seen some action. Mostly during the war. What's changed some? Yeah. Got the gear and the power. The music as they enter the ruins is very soft and low. This is actually the music for the vines themselves. Listen to how it stays soft and low while slowly slithering around. The music is perfectly emulating the movement of the vines during this scene. What other experiments were going on in this place? Nothing good. They didn't exactly tell us what was going on. And as the vines come to life, its music does as well. The same stepwise flurries in the strings that happened before comes in again. And even here, as the music moves faster, it emulates the vines as it slithers in stepwise or conjunct motion. Oh. 
More string tremolos enter again as the group approaches the control console. We know something bad is going to happen. The string tremolos and later dissonant drones are keeping that suspense ongoing. That and Hunter's completely vague foreshadowing. Something's coming. As the other two clones come in to rescue the group, it's reminiscent of the opening to season two as the cables descend to pick everyone up. However, this time, everything seems to happen in slow motion compared to that scene, and the music represents this by playing very augmented motifs from the Bad Batch theme and keeping the theme from fully or clearly reaching the foreground. It's amazing to see how far things have changed since the beginning of the last season. And even after they victoriously escape, the theme never actually plays. I'm very interested to see when the Kiners will fully employ their theme this season. As the episode ends, another brief horn plays another motif from the theme as they foreshadow their continued resolve to rescue Omega. But I absolutely would love to know what all of you think as well. Obviously with a three-part season opener, a single episode only has minimal impact, but how did this episode leave you feeling? Tell me in the comments below what you think. Consider checking out my Patreon page using the link in the description, where you can help support this channel for as little as $1 a month, or download PDFs and MP3s of projects as I complete them, along with other perks at higher tiers. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to learn more about the music of a galaxy far, far away. And as always, may the... be with you.